Gases also move between two containers or out of a container. When there's a small hole, and if you have a mixture of gases, they move differently. So here's some of each of these gases. We'll do two pumps each gas. Go ahead and watch and decide which of these molecules are leaving the hole. So, so far that's two reds, three reds, four reds, five reds, six, seven, waiting for purple. That hole is large enough for the purples to go through. Almost. There you go. This is a fusion. This is a gas particle. This is a mixture moving through a hole. And this can be a purification technique. You, if you want the small molecules, purify it from the large molecules. So imagine if you have two containers that are separated and there's just a small hole and you're trying to get them to mix. In this case, they're mixing with the environment. The ones that are smaller are going to be moving through that small hole much more quickly than the ones that are larger. Let's look at diffusion for a minute. Diffusion, we're going to put particles on each side, 50 particles. And diffusion, instead of having a hole between these particles, like with effusion, with diffusion, we're just going to open up the barrier between the two. And we're going to see how they mix. I'm also going to track particle flow as well as center of mass. That kind of helps you keep track of how well they're mixed. I'm going to remove the divider. So after a period of time, those gas particles will find an equilibrium position where approximately at the same side, where, where what was once two different sides of a container now is an equal dispersion. And there will be moments where it's a little heavy on one side and moments where it's a little heavy on the other side, but the gas molecules will adapt. I'm going to reset it. Pick one of the red molecules and track it with your eyes and see how long it takes it to get to the other side. Will it make a straight line? This is the reason that when a strong smell comes into a room, only some people smell it at first and then eventually it spreads to the room. If you imagine breaking an essential oil, that had a peppermint smell on one side of the room, the people closest would smell it first because it would take time for those particles to move through the room. And eventually the people on the other side would also smell it because it would disperse through the entire container, which would be the room.